Hi there, and welcome to this quick tips guide for motion matching for Unity. We're going to look at a quick way that we can improve our workflow and speed, especially when setting up uh, composites. So this is the preprocessor that I use for the standalone demo, which is available online. And um, we can go to our composites and you can see I've got a lot of animations here and I've made a lot of composite categories. So one of the cool things about splitting up your composites into categories is you can give them all individual default settings and you can change their settings on mass. So just quickly to recap, we can create a new category down the bottom of the, of the composite section. We can click in here and name it as we like my category. Now, before we add any animations, we can click on this cog and we can change all the default settings. Um, <clears throat> watch the composites video to learn what these settings do. But basically, once we've changed these settings, we can even set default tags. So I can say this is going to be a compass, uh, combat category. Um, and then every animation that we add in here is going to automatically have these um, these settings. So if I drag in my death animation here, for example, and I double click on that, you can see it's already got the settings that I set here. It's got the combat tag and favorite tag 27 and extrapolate. That was of course just random. Now, if I want to change all the settings uh, on all the composites in this category, I can still do that. I can add on say flatten trajectory and ignore edges and change this to crouch. And I can simply click apply all and then choose yes, you get a warning, it'll do it to everything, and I double click on my death animation, you can see that's changed uh, the animations again, just like that. Now we can also just add, apply the required tags or just apply the favorite tags to all. So this is a nice quality of life feature that was well requested by the community, and it uh, is going to help you set up your animations a lot quicker because you'll find that most of them are going to have very similar settings and I can basically just change all of these all at once with one little thing. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more tips and more tutorials for motion matching for Unity.